Good afternoon, my darlings. I can't even pretend that it's morning because it is currently about 3 p.m. And it's not a particularly flattering way to stand, is it? As you might be able to guess from my super cozy outfit. Today is one of those days I have been working from home and I've just reached that point where I have become a little bit brain dead. I'm ready to switch off and that's something that I have been trying really hard to put into place this year is actually learning how to switch off. I mentioned in my intentions for 2022 video that I really do need to work on switching off at the relevant time and spending a little bit more time working on myself <laughs> and I am, as I'm saying this, realizing the irony of saying that I'm switching off now while also having just picked up the camera to vlog. But vlogging is a funny one because when I'm actually filming it doesn't feel like work, but of course it is. But it's more the editing um, and the emails that in my eyes feels like work. <laughs> if that makes sense. But anyway, I digress. So it's mid-afternoon and I've reached a bit of a bit of a brain, um, brain fog moment. So just taking a little break from the laptop, going to make myself some nice food to enjoy. Um, and sometimes when I get in these modes where I just can't bear to be on my laptop any longer, but I still feel the need to be productive, kind of get itchy fingers and I want to do something, whether it's tidying something in the house or organizing something. So haven't decided what my task is going to be. It might end up being laundry, but I actually do quite enjoy <laughs> doing laundry. So maybe that'll be my fun task for the afternoon. But yeah, it's just ever since we got back from holiday, I'm finding that my capacity to do like a full day of work has really diminished and I can only get maybe like five solid hours of work done until my brain just completely gives up. And I feel like it's also something that a lot of us experience at this time of year, especially if you do live in the UK. I mean, it's the weather is not particularly inspiring. And when you are working from home, every day kind of feels the same. And I don't know, it's just easy to lose your, it's easy to lose your inspiration. So I think that it's very important that we give ourselves a break and give ourselves a bit of me time. So that's what I'm going to focus on this afternoon, which I'm very much looking forward to. Anyway, on a brighter note, I feel like that's quite depressing, but just being honest with how I'm feeling at the moment. And I, I know from like my friends that I follow on Instagram that I'm very much not alone. I think we all just need to be a little bit kinder to ourselves. At the moment, it's all quite overwhelming. Um, so yeah. We'll have a little bit of me time together in this vlog. You guys are going to be watching this on a Sunday afternoon, so I really hope you're relaxing and having a lovely end to your weekend. So I've got the cutest little cosy outfit on today. This is my gorgeous cardigan, which is from Needle and Thread, and it's got the most beautiful buttons, these like embellished buttons, little scallop detail on the pockets, and then I've just got on my brown Amazon leggings, nice cream slippers. Perfect working from home outfit because I feel quite chic and yet ultra cosy. Anyway, my tummy is rumbling, so I'm gonna go downstairs, have some food, which always perks me up as well. <laughs> um, and then we'll figure out what mundane task I'm gonna do to make myself feel productive this afternoon. <laughs> has just come out and both of the doggies are searching for a spot in the sunshine. Dickie just found a little corner in the lounge where there was a, a ray of sun and now he's coming to investigate whether his brother has a better option. Did you know that half of your body is actually not in the sun there, Dexie? Only your snout and your bottom is in the sun. Did you know? Mommy, leave me alone. I wish to sunbathe in peace my solar powered sausages. Gosh, look at that beautiful afternoon sunlight coming in. My mood instantly improves <laughs> when the sun comes out. We just had this lovely delivery come from Annabelle's Deliciously English. I actually think the brand is called Annabelle's Deliciously British, but this is the Annabelle's Deliciously English Rubri Conserve. We've got a Rubri... Oh, Rubri. <laughs> Took me a second to realise that's not 
a real word. Strawberry and rhubarb ponserve. I'm sure that'll be scrumptious. And then we've got a rhubarb and mango chutney. Oh my gosh, imagine that with some creamy cheese on a cracker. Some chili chutney, equally fabulous on a cheese board. And then we've got a classic strawberry conserve here. So Annabelle's have got a strawberry farm up in Yorkshire. It's all very sustainably run. I believe if you live nearby, you can actually go and um, pick your own. It says, we preserve, we preserve the quintessential taste of the British summer in this intensely fruity jam and make a donation to the Prince's Trust with every jar. How lovely. I follow this brand on Instagram and I absolutely love what they're doing and I've not tried their jams before, so I'm a big fan of jam on a croissant in the mornings, so I shall keep you updated. And they've also very kindly sent over an unopened, ooh, two unopened bunches of daffodils. I'll pop them in some water and within a day or two, I'm sure they'll have opened up and look absolutely beautiful. Okay, my darlings, so I'm feeling a bit better now. I'm feeling a bit more um, like I've done something with the day. Spent the morning doing work stuff into the afternoon, and now I've done a little bit of home chores and I've actually eaten something. So feeling, feeling much more like myself. I always feel bad and then work myself up if I start the vlog on a bit of a, not negative note, but not like super happy and chirpy, but that's just life. That is just life. Anyway, I'm going to treat myself this afternoon to the ultimate pampering, self-love moment, the best bath experience ever, basically, because we need to take these moments for ourselves. Valentine's Day is coming up, and what's that famous quote? If you don't, can't... I'm going to have to put it on the screen because I just butcher these quotes whenever I try and do them. It's like, you can't truly love someone else if you don't show yourself love. That kind of thing. That's my excuse anyway. But for me, self-love is just spending a bit of time on yourself and focusing on the mind, focusing on the body. And I know it's like the ultimate cliche, but for me, a bath literally <laughs> sums that up. And I like to do it properly. I like to light some beautiful candles, I like to pop in some gorgeous bath oils and just really enjoy the moment. Maybe stick on a film, I'm probably gonna watch a YouTube video while I'm in the tub and just have a bit of a pamper. I just feel like you've got to listen to your body and that's what I need. So for me, the number one brand that springs to mind when it comes to these ultimate relaxation moments is of course Espa. They have sent me the most gorgeous delivery, which you will see after my bath because I will be slipping into it. <laughs> Espa are the brand um, that springs to mind when it comes to the most gorgeous products and experiences. Obviously you can experience Espa in actual spas, but you can also create that spa experience at home, which is what I'm essentially gonna do right now. They, their products are made with the most incredible essential oils and whether they're on your body, on your skin or being inhaled, that whole ritual sensorial experience just for me is super important for those moments of me time. So a few particular products that I'm going to use. This is a new one. Their bath oils just not only fill your tub, <laughs> but your entire bathroom slash house with the most amazing fragrance. I've not tried this one before. It's called the Connection Bath and Body Oil. And listen to this description. Aromatherapy Bath and Body Oil for greater closeness and intimacy. So you could use this if you're so inclined as a massage oil. But I read the ingredients and it's got, please correct me if this pronunciation is wrong, Ylang Ylang, patchouli, sandalwood and jasmine. And sandalwood in particular is one of my favourite scents. And what I like to do with these oils, <laughs> Do you know what I just thought? I could ask our chiropractor when I get my sports massages on Monday to use these oils. Mmm. <laughs> that would be amazing. But what I like to do is actually pop a few drops of this on my neck and chest area before getting in the bath, like while it's running. Because then I just get to experience the fragrance and the feeling of the oils on my skin for even longer. And then of course pop a couple of capsules in the bath as well. So this is one of their signature blends. Aromatherapy companions for modern living, each with their own unique character and naturally nourish your skin and nurture your well-being. So this is the main product for my heavenly 
bathing experience. You might remember I featured a few of their gift sets at Christmas and the only room mist <laughs> that I've got left because we absolutely love them. I actually took one on holiday with us and it was just really nice for us to be able to scent our villa and make it smell a little bit more like home. This is the soothing atmosphere mist. They're so tiny as well. You could definitely just pop one in your handbag. And this is a really nice way of, oh my gosh, just making, making your room, making the bathroom that little bit more spa-like. And then, when is this video going live? You should still have time to order this before Valentine's Day. If you are speedy, I will leave a link to these pieces in the description box down below. But this is also from the Signature Blends collection. Restorative aromatic candle, hand poured aromatherapy soy, soy candle to rebalance and comfort. I love that they're doing more of a focus on their kind of home products at the moment because especially with where we're all working from home as like the norm now, and I don't know about you, but I feel like before the pandemic, I would spend maybe 30% of my life at home, <laughs> whereas now I feel like I spend 95% of my life at home. So it's really important to create that lovely feeling in your own home. So more than ever, I'm willing to invest in products like this. This, by the way, is the lid, which is very important, especially if you live in a very dusty house like this, um, because it just keeps your candle in pristine condition. This is such a treat. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. My goodness, how heavenly is this? I really don't think there is much in life more luxurious than a huge candle. So this has got rose geranium, sweet orange, and lavender within the essential oils, so the most gorgeous fragrance. My top tip when it comes to big candles, you just want to make sure that there has been plenty of plenty of time for lots of the top level to melt, I'll show you a little bit later, before you blow them out, because if you blow them out when it's only been burning for like 20 minutes or so, it can start to tunnel down and then you don't get as much out of your candle. Um, and of course, making sure your wicks remain trimmed. But anyway, enough chat. I'm gonna run the bath and enjoy my heavenly little bit of me time. So here is my heavenly bath setup. I've just switched the tap off to chat to you because it's very loud. I've got the candle lit and it's only been lit for about two minutes and already the room smells absolutely heavenly. And Charlie just came in and asked what I was doing having a bath in the middle of the day and he has so kindly offered to light the fire for fire me. Firelighter has arrived. Firelighter, fire starter. Fire starter. Which is a very romantic gesture. Thank you, darling. And to be fair, I back you to light it. Yeah. Myself. I would have the confidence, wouldn't you? Mm hmm But key little thing, which is good. Yeah. Um, you want ash. Ash. Yeah, you want ash. A bed of ash. That's what it's taken us a few few. A few probably, goes. Well, a couple of years we've lived in here now to learn. Hmm that actually a super clean fire basket isn't ideal for lighting fires. Oh, right. You don't know the science, don't ask me why, but mm. you want a little bit of a bed of ash. Right. If anyone is unsure on the perfect uh, technique for lighting a fire, I direct you to Straw Top Cottage's Instagram, yes. where we have a, a proper um, routine. But anyway, I have just applied... Oh, can I reach over the bath? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I've just applied a capful and a half of the Connection Bath and Body Oil to the bath, and I've applied half a capful to my body, so I'm currently snuggled up in my gown um, and enjoying the aroma from this. I wish you guys could smell it, but it's absolutely heavenly. I've also got already in the bath the Purifying Polish from Esper. It's a really lovely consistency exfoliator, great especially for after holidays, but also for those just super pampering bath experiences. Ooh. And you know those books that you just have around the house because they're actually just really lovely books and you never really find the time to read them? Well, I think bath times are the perfect time to actually read all of these little books, whether it's a home book or you know, um, and I found this one in the office, so I'm going to have a little peruse through that while I'm in the tub. Well, that truly was the most heavenly bathing experience and the piece de resistance for the ultimate 
pampering evening these beautiful new PJs, which were a very, very kind gift from Espa. So the perfect way to complete your pamper evening, perfect night's sleep. These are 100% silk in their beautiful, they had a special name for this shade of rose. I wanna say claret, but I might have completely made that up. Um, but I'm gonna link these PJs down below as well. They're just such an elegant shape and fit and color. Ooh, I thought that was a pocket there. Nope, I'm imagining it. Little pocket up here, it's just the most rich and beautiful colour. My skin feels so moisturised from laying in the tub with all the essential oils. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling very, very zen, very relaxed. I think I'm going to sleep very well this evening. But we have got uh, my mum coming over for dinner this evening. I always find cooking quite relaxing and quite meditative as well. So I think once I'm, I've come out of this post bath, slumber i will start cooking start preparing some food for later on um but yeah that was heavenly i think you can tell by the change in tone from my voice that i'm feeling very relaxed now so yeah i'll catch up with you a bit later <laughs> they're so lovely thank you espa the fire is starting to go out after about an hour i'm not gonna lie that was <laughs> a long soak and this is how the candle looks after being lit for about an hour. And I would say this is an okay stage to blow it out. You can see the bits that it's not um, started melting away. There is a hack that you can do actually by putting foil on top. I've never tried it, but I've seen people putting it on their Insta Instagram stories. Um, but I wouldn't recommend blowing it out much before this point when it's your first light, because as I said, it just tends to like tunnel down, whereas this will mean that it melts nice and evenly every time. I have a confession, I did not even get round to opening this book while I was in the bath. I was just watching YouTube videos the whole time, but I do feel very relaxed, so mission complete. <gasps> Good morning, my darlings. It's the next morning now. My goodness, it is cold. I wouldn't be surprised actually if we've got a bit of ice on the pond. Just wanted to show you how great the borders are looking. We had our gardener here yesterday, not Nicholson's, our local lovely Jack who comes once a week to. Oh, Dexy! Right. <laughs> who comes once a week to help us with the maintenance. And she was a very busy bee yesterday adding a layer of mulch and compost which is the top layer on here, so it's looking a lot neater now. <laughs> what are you howling at, Lynn? And this will just help to feed the soil so that everything grows nice and big and strong this year. My gosh, it's cold. And it generally just looks so much neater. So looking at this area over here, we have now planted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine new trees in this area. And my gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 trees down there, not including the fruit trees. And now we just have to wait for them to grow. <laughs> morning my darlings it is now Saturday morning and I am currently parked up on a really random side road in Oxford basically just dropped Lilla off at a hospital here she's having a checkup following her eye operation she's absolutely fine she's recovered so so well it was a standard cataracts operation um, and we were just discussing the hugely fat silver lining, gold lining to this whole process um, is that she now essentially has amazing vision. She always had to wear specs, especially for long distance. And when I put these glasses on, it would make me dizzy instantly because it was such a strong lens. But now <laughs> she keeps saying, I can see the feathering on the trees. I can see the lambkins on the trees. So her vision is amazing. She still is going to need reading glasses. Um, I guess they give you free laser eye surgery when you get cataracts operations now, or maybe they always have done. I don't know. So 
she's doing very well. Thank you so much to everyone that left comments saying that you hope that Lala's operation went well. It did. Um, this could literally be a 10 minute checkup. It could be an hour. So I've got my laptop in the back of the car and I'm going to do some editing. And then we are heading into Oxford town slash city centre. We've got a lunch booking at the Ivy, which will be lovely. Um, but I've never been into the centre of Oxford before, so I'm really looking forward to looking around. Um, having lived here for two years and it's very much our nearest big city, I still just go to London when I need to go shopping. So yeah, I don't even know the setup. I don't know if I need to do park and ride or if I can just park in a multi-storey car park somewhere. But this car doesn't fit in all multi-storey car parks. We have been snookered a few times and had to do some traversing and reversing around um, because of the roof rack it makes it quite tall so often it doesn't fit in multi-story car parks. So I'm just going to do a little bit of research now um, and then who knows how long I'll have to wait but I'll do a little bit of editing and then I'll take you into Oxford so it should be should be a lovely day and it is glorious as I showed you this morning. It's just a blue sky day. Wow look at that sunlight. I've got on my Chloe uh, cashmere and wool cape which I got from Bista you might remember it's actually my first time wearing it properly out of the house and it's the perfect kind of day for something like this because it's nice and warm but I didn't really want to be bundled up in a massive coat although I did bring my um, Reese duvet coat with me just in case gosh this is dazzling so I'm gonna catch up with you um, later on when we're exploring. Well after a very scenic drive through the various colleges of Oxford University we've we've parked on Broad Street which is just literally in the middle of the road which is great nice easy parking and according to Google Maps this is Trinity College of Oxford University so we're playing tourists and we're gonna go and check it out. that I put my puffer jacket in the car because when we were out on the meadows a second ago it was absolutely freezing where the breezes are coming down there I think we've walked through Trinity College and we've just walked through Christ Church College which is here behind me you're not allowed into Christ Church but we were able to go in a few of the buildings around Trinity College um, and now we are heading back towards the high street there's lots of tours going on and I think it would definitely be worth doing one um, but all the buildings here are just beautiful to see even though we don't really know what they are um, because it's such lovely super old historical buildings so if you are a tourist visiting the UK I think it'd be a lovely place to come um, but next time when we can dedicate a full day and maybe when it's not quite so chilly I think we'll do a, a walking tour or an open top bus tour it'll be rather lovely having our luncheon for today. It's like a lovely old building. They always choose really nice buildings for the Ivies, don't they? Let's see. Yeah. Lovely. So we're 
we're a little bit early for our table at the Ivy. It's very lovely in here. I'm with newly visioned up Lala, who is looking very glamorous in her Chanel sunglasses. Aren't they lovely? So why do you have those sunglasses? Because I only had the eyes done on Wednesday and it's still very glary. Everything's got like a blue hue to it. Blue hue? Blue. blue. Like, yeah. like an ice blue. Oh. Yeah. Right. Quite strange really. It's definitely not blue. My vision yeah. is just amazing. Amazing. But you can't read, I can't read, read, read reading. I can't read small print. Right. So I'm going to have to have some new specs. Very nice reading. designer reading glasses. Oh yes, I'll get something. Which we'll keep a lookout for. It's a very lovely bar area. It's actually a really gorgeous town. Um, we could definitely should come for like a full day. Lala is not holding back. You've got a pink G&T yeah. with got to be strawberries. It's got to be done. Chin chin. Here's to your new eyeballs. <laughs> and as soon as we sat down, I spotted this, which is the plant that we had growing outside of our room at Raffles in the Maldives. How funny to see it here. I don't think I've seen one of these before in the UK. And look at this place, it's just absolutely glorious. I love this thick pink marble bar. This is delicious. It's delicious. And look at the gorgeous glass. I love that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's amazing, isn't it? That is so nice. That's pink beef eater gin. Mm. It's really it's lovely. It really is. Well, you can you could totally make that at home. Beef eater pink gin, Actually, fresh strawberries, fresh mint, I think I'd better not. <laughs> <laughs> and fever tree elderflower. Oh, oh because yeah. normally I don't like the end of elderflower, but I can really taste the mint. Mm. Well, I bet they um, like smush yeah. it in their fingers a little bit. Lala's got a new favourite. I need a row of just a line of Lala has just been sharing this lady with me that she's found on Instagram and I know lots of you always ask for Lala's style tips. So who is this lady? Sylvia Berry. Sylvia Berry. And you like her style? I just yes, I think I do actually. I if like anyone's that. looking I like for her hair. Her hair's nice. She wears some nice spectacles. Oh, all white. A little, very nice. But currently they're in the Caribbean. Very nice. She's been wearing some incredibly glamorous. Oh wow! Does she tag them? Yes. Tag. Nana, Nanny's jewels. Gia du Curti. Dodici Ventura. Hmm. Nanny's so jewels. Has she got that necklace on? Probably. That's Have a look. Husband. Oh, that's her earrings. It's like, the top's like 150 euros. Wow. Um, where will I see that? On her stories? On the, on the, oh yeah, on the story. Oh wow. So we'll leave Sylvia Berry, link down below, if anyone's looking for a mature lady to follow on Instagram with great style. Cremonini. bathrooms at the ivy and the actual little cubicles i would love to do this kind of style in our black bathroom at the top of the stairs you've got these pink marble sinks like annabelle's crazy wallpaper watching the rugby this afternoon. It's currently um, Ireland versus Wales. Wales are not doing very well. And I thought I would come and do a 30 minute spin with Cody Rigsby. Let's turn the bike on while we're chatting. So it does take a few minutes, well, like a minute <laughs> to um, turn itself on. When we had it in the house, I would just kind of leave it on. Um, but when it's out here, just in case I don't come on for a few days, I do switch it off in between rides. That was possibly the most boring thing I have 
have told you, I'm sorry. But yes, I thought I would do a fairly quick spin because I do need to wash my hair ahead of this evening. We are heading to Rory and Nathan's for a, um, for a dinner party to celebrate Chinese New Year. We've been instructed to wear red and gold. <laughs> Charlie said the only thing that he can wear is his Manchester United shirt, so I really hope that we'll be able to find something else. But at the moment, I have got on my gorgeous teddy bear jumper. It's so nice and warm and um, kind of matching um, leggings. These are the Vali leggings in the kind of giraffe pattern, and it's a really nice, comfy workout set. So if I just want to be super cozy, the leggings are really, really comfortable, and this is obviously just super snugly warm because it is chilly in here. So I'm going to do my workout, have a nice pampering shower, I might put some um, elasticizer or something in my hair and then we're going to watch England versus, is it England versus Scotland? I think so, um, before getting ready for our dinner plans. <laughs> hours later I am showered, I am changed, I am <laughs> air wrapped and this is the outfit of the evening for our Chinese New Year celebration with Rory and Nathan. The dress code is red and gold so I've got my gold Manolo Blanix which are so sparkly and fabulous and I'm so happy to have an excuse to wear them again and then it's a deep red dress, the Reese dress that I now have in white as well this was literally my boxing day outfit and then my little gold mulberry bag which I got in Vista Village I've also popped on a red lipstick and I must say oh we've got a major flick I must say I find red lipstick very hard to wear um, I don't actually have a red lip liner so I'm just gonna take the lipstick with me and hope for the best I normally go for nudes and I'm just very conscious of this getting on my teeth and smudging but fingers crossed it'll all be okay I am very very hungry um, even though I had a delicious lunch at the Ivy earlier but Nathan always cooks a huge amount of delicious food so I wanted to make sure I was super hungry ready for this evening so I'm not sure what Charlie's going to wear hopefully not his Man United shirt um, but let's go and see and hit the road So is this a Chinese New Year tradition? Yeah, you blow it. You blow it? Because it's incense, it'll keep on. Oh, yeah. Make a wish. So this room is just going to get more and more fragrant. Absolutely. You have more and more <laughs> incense. Okay. 